Matthew 27, verses 57 to 60. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. A reflection from the artist. When I consider this moment in Joseph's life, I think about the normalcy and strangeness of burying a loved one. The ritual act of burial is a physical reminder of our own fragile mortality and also an affirmation that we are more than our bodies. This is a completely natural and wholly unnatural experience. We grasp onto the hope that our loved one is with God in death, and at the same time, everything fights within us to hold on to the physicality of those we love. The contrast within the act of burial makes the duality of Jesus, the humanity and divinity of Christ, very tangible. I imagine Joseph, filled with despair, fights to hold on to Jesus' body afraid to let go. I imagine he also feels grounded in faith that Jesus will not be contained. A Closing Prayer Walk through, walk to, walk on, walk despite, walk amidst, walk singing. Walk in protest, walk in hope, walk in love. Walk with your hands up, walk with your soul, walk with your neighbor. Walk to the tomb, walk into the light, walk toward the dawn. And when it is dark, and the road is hard, God, help us walk. Walk on. Amen.